Hello and welcome to the quick run of the third T20 International of the Dutch Bangla Bank series between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. Series decider and Bangladesh have finally won it by nine runs and won the series. Got uh, HD Ackerman alongside. Good to have you. No, we're not in pink anymore, which yeah. is a good thing. And we've got a variation, blue and green. But yes, was uh, almost a nail biter, almost went down the wire. Well, it did go down to the wire, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and this is a problem for, for Bangladesh going forward. It seems that they have Zimbabwe up against the racks early on, and they're just not able to finish them off in all three T20 internationals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, uh, you know, that's what everyone wanted to see. Bangladesh batting first. Batting first, they, they scored 165, uh, courtesy of that partnership between Tawhid Ridoy and Jakri Alionik, his maiden half-century, Tawhid Ridoy. Yeah, he's a good player. I think we spoke about it after the second T20 international. I, I've really viewed him as the, the future of T20 cricket for uh, for Bangladesh. What he does seem to have achieved now is not only this swashbuckling cricket, he's able to manipulate the ball well, he understands the importance of the situation that he finds himself in. And sometimes young players aren't aware of that. They just come in, try and hit boundaries, a nice pretty 18 and off they walk. He's now starting to work out how to uh, put an innings together and win games for his team. And again, he did it tonight in a difficult situation with Jakar Ali because they were in trouble again, Bangladesh. Yeah, they lost three wickets and they needed a partnership and then they needed to pick up the pace, which they did, Jakar Ali Onik and Tawhid Ridoy all together. Uh, so he's got his uh, maiden half century. And then Zimbabwe lost quick wickets. Uh, almost all the bowlers were amongst the wickets for Bangladesh, but then came along for Akram. Yeah, I know it's a silly comment, but we, we're starting to think that, that Zimbabwe should maybe reverse their batting order. But <laughs> no, not the case. Look, they've got themselves into trouble again. I actually think that um, young Jonathan Campbell played well. 21 of 10. It just mm -hmm. changed the momentum a little bit because they were nowhere near it. They were they were needing 12, 13 to the over. And then Akram came in and played a nice little cameo towards the back end there to, to give Bangladesh a little bit of a fright. But th th I just think Zimbabwe need to, to re-look at their batting order. Not necessarily the 11 but maybe just get players in different in different positions. I think they need someone that's a little bit more dynamic at the top of the order, mm -hmm. and then maybe Campbell can slot in somewhere around num number five, and then that balances them out a little bit better. Yeah, you mentioned what Zimbabwe will be looking forward to do, maybe shuffle up the batting order. What do you think? You know, they've won the series 3-0 already, but two more with two more T20 internationals to go back in Dhaka. What are some of the pointers for Bangladesh? Well, two big ones is that there's possibly three players coming back. We know that Shaki Balasan and Mustafa Zer Rahman will be coming will be coming back. Whether they play those two games, they're available for selection. I think they'll they'll slot in. Mm -hmm. So they two need to go out. So they'll try and work out where does Shakib fit into the side from a batting perspective. We know in the last World Cup, I know it was a 50 over World Cup, but Shakib was up and down that batting lineup. So was Tawad Ridoy. I like Ridoy where he's batting at the moment. Do they risk someone else at the top of the order and give Lytton Das a little bit of a breather? He's mm. not keeping wicket at the moment. jakarali has got some runs. So a bit of a headache for the selectors, but not an ugly headache, a nice headache in mm. that they, they're better than just 11. There's now 14, 15 play, players all vying for those 11 spots, and it's worth having a look at them all. Yeah, and if I may say, it's going to be test and trials for Bangladesh. Next T20 International is going to be in Dhaka, in Mirpur, on the 10th of May. It's a Friday, it's a weekend. Uh, I'm sure the Bangladesh fans will be looking forward to it you know, in terms of the team combination and uh, who are the ones who pick, up, pick it up, pick the opportunities up and someone like Shakib Hassan and Mustafa Rahman most likely will feature in. That's it from the Zohar Ahmed Chaudhary Stadium. Very, very thank you, HD Ackerman. It's been a pleasure as always. Always good to be here. Look forward to Dhaka. Look forward to Dhaka. That's it.